King news, my lovely, wonderful people. Not be smarty, do apple so. Not be smarty, no. Not be smarty, no. It go shock you. Now, our brother, Femi Fanika, your day. Hey, the, the guy they want, they say you beat more than you can chew. When you beat more than you can chew, your, you know, so don't feel swallow your mouth. Your mouth might everything could just be one kind. You go look funny. You know, if you talk because the meat with your mouth is too big. Now they call you beat more than you can chew, literally. But again, it could be you beat more than you can chew when things that are not right, when you do some things, you know, that you're not supposed to, you, you go beyond, the, when you shake, when the hand shake, don't pass the elbow. Now it's another thing day. Yes? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Femi Fani Kayode reacts as Joe Biden fails to congratulate Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu. <clears throat> Chieftain of the All Progressive Congress, Femi Fani Kayode, has reacted to the failure of the President of the United States of America, Joe Biden, to congratulate Nigerian's President-elect, Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Late Nigeria earlier reported that the U.S. leader has not sent a personal congratulatory message to Tinubu since he was declared the winner of the February 25th presidential election in Nigeria. Tinubu, who emerged as the winner of the country's fierce contest presidential election, is yet to receive an official congratulation message from the U.S. President Biden as it is customary when a nation when a nation deemed as an American ally elects a new president. Amidst the reactions that have trailed the development, Femi Fani Kayode had the opinion that Biden's congratulatory message does not change the fact that Tinubu is the president-elect of the biggest, richest, most enlightened nation in Africa and Western and the Western world biggest trading partner of the continent. According to him, the American State Department and American Ambassador to Nigeria have congratulated Tinubu and it reflects a measure of respect. <clears throat> However, it is important for the US President to call Tinubu as Nigeria is a big nation and does not deserve less. He wrote, whether Joe Biden calls to congratulate him or not, a Bola Ahmed Tinubu is the president-elect of the biggest, richest, most populous African black nation in the world, in West Africa, and biggest trade partner of the continent. If you call him or not, does not eliminate the fact. Yes, the American State Department and the American ambassador to Nigeria both congratulate Ashiwa Joe Ahmed Bola Tinubu, but it will be the right thing for Joe Biden to also come on board and do the right thing. So, now, our very own brother, and I won't teach the U.S. how to do their job. By the way, <clears throat> the U.S. may not have called Bola Ahmed Tinubu for personal reasons. I not say they they not get they not not supposed to call Amo. I say may not have called Tinubu for personal reasons. Now, usually, what is customary is that when a president is elected, congratulatory messages begin to come from nations of the world. Everybody begin to call him in to say congratulations. And in case you are not aware, Nigeria and the U.S. are very close allies. So they do a lot of deals together. And like you heard, Femi says. You know, even the Americans, the ambassador and what have you have called to say congratulations to, uh, you know, uh, uh, president-elect Bola Ahmed Tinubu. However, the president of the country himself, Joe Biden, have not deemed it necessary to call Tinubu. Like some persons will say, Peterson, if you listen, and some other persons will say that it is too early to congratulate Ashiwa Ahmed Bola Tinubu. That's what some people will say. Some people will say there is still court case. There are still issues to be resolved. The matter has not been settled. It will be too early because you don't know what may follow. Whatever the case may be, remember that every single one of us, every single person, you know, have <clears throat> a part to play in all of this. You and I, you know, we are the ones who will decide what will happen. Yes, other persons in America may have called Bola Ahmed Tinubu. You remember what happened to Buhari when he was newly elected as president and he went to the UK. 
they have said congratulations to him. But what did you hear David Cameron, the then uh, Prime Minister of Britain, says? Fantastically corrupt. So they are, they are, laugh, they are having, a, they are having a, a drink with you, but they have their reservations about you. So Femi Fani Kayode, as you desire so much that Bola Ahmed Tinubu will be called to congrat to congratulated, do you know the reservations that they have? Because there is no statement I've heard, even the uh, Great Britain that have you know said not you know would have said congratulations. It was not without the fact that they stated it clearly that this election is so fierce. Tinubu was declared president in the most you know controversial election. They keep saying it is not um, is not a hidden phenomenon. They keep saying that he was declared president in the most you know, uh, you know, most contentious, uh, you know, uh, election that INEC, the trust that Nigerians have on INEC conducting an election and it's to be free and fair, the trust is being thrown off the window. So when you look at it, really, truly speaking, if whether they call to say congratulations or not, does it really make much of a difference? It would be nice. Probably they're waiting for all the court cases to be resolved before they do that. Yes, probably. They may just be waiting. We don't know. So when you look at the whole thing, it's trying to rope in the great, you know, to rope in, uh, you know, the U.S. that they did not congratulate Tinubu. But one will ask, does congratulating Tinubu or not congratulating Tinubu really make that much of a difference? Does it? Does it really make that much of a difference? So these are some of the things that are going on that are happening. And like you and I know, we just have to ensure that, you know, things are done decently and in order. And at the end of the day, Nigeria becomes a better place. The issue right now and all that is going on is that, you know, they just want to be congratulated at all costs. You know, you know that feeling of association to show that, um, you know, we are right on course. We have people on our side. Yes, we are, we are, we are wanted. That feeling of acceptance, basically. That feeling of acceptance, basically, you know, is what Femi Fani Kayode wants. Okay, that's what Femi Fani Kayode wants. And that's why he's so disheartened that, you know, he has not been, uh, Bola Metinubu has not been congratulated by the U.S. who are having reservations with regards to the election results. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. Bye for now. Remember, you have a voice. Bye-bye.